into the Breslin Center for this afternoon's exhibition game matchup between the Michigan State Spartans and the visiting Ferris State Bulldogs. Alongside Andrea Nelson, I'm Jacob Bodner. First time these two squads are taking the floor this season, and Andrea, it's going to be a different looking Spartan team. It really is. Michigan State only returning two players who averaged over 20 minutes a game last year. Seven of these players have never even seen the court. So a lot of fresh faces for the fans to see. It is next. Ferris State, a similar story as Michigan State, a young team only returning one starter. And that one starter is our player to watch, Dante Molden. Yes, he is the only returning starter, the only returning statistical leader. He led Ferris State in steals last year. And with a young team, they're really going to be depending on his leadership skills a lot this year. Starter and Dante Molden, a freshman in there with Drew Lehman. So it's going to be an interesting matchup here today. Head coach for uh, Ferris State, Bill Sal, in his 10th season as the head coach over there. Was previously an assistant coach at the program. Very successful. Turn around the program quite a bit. Three GLIAC North Division championships, three NCAA Division II tournament appearances. So good job by Bill Sal over at Ferris State. More on the other quicker. Side. It's always good to trim a little bit more of those pounds down on those players so they can get up and down the court in a transition, which is what Michigan State really likes to run. If you're Tom Izzo this afternoon, what are you looking for out of your team? Well, for Michigan State, they start off their schedule really tough against us, a very young team for Ferris State, but that, that doesn't mean that Michigan State should take them lightly. A very talented group and a great leaders on this team. It's going to be a great matchup here today. And for Ferris State, they're going to be play, playing another Big Ten foe in their first regular season game in Chrysler Arena against the Wolverines. So this will give them a good preview of Big Ten play. Yes, it's always great for a Division II team like Ferris State to really amp up their non-conference play to get them ready and that's proved successful for them in the past as they were the their divisional um, winners last year. Looking to repeat in that realm. First time they've done that in quite a little bit, uh, quite a while for them. But they've got a good program in Big Rapids. So going for the jump here. Derek Nix, Spartans win it. Brandon Wood will control it. Appling with it now. Goes down low to Nix. Nix battling it out, puts one up, no good. Tip by Green, doesn't find its way through. Gives over to Dawson, and Dawson puts it in. So the freshman with the first points on the board. His first two points on a, on a game at Michigan State and Breslin Center. Ferris now trying to answer, Molden with it. Over to Sutherland. Sanders with a shot, nails the three-pointer. Point position. As Keith Appling going to handle most of that position this year, but it gets a good turnover there. Breakaway by Saunders is up and in, and look at this, Ferris up 7-2 to early on. And it's really good to be able to come into Bre the Breslin Center and really get a jump on a good Michigan State team. Two guys on him, but still able to convert. And that's what his size does for him. He's able, his he's a very quick player too, and he was able to get that steal and outrun those uh, smaller players. He was able to finish the layup. Lever, and a three-point shot by Saunders is good. Keep control of it. Cross court to Thornton, his three-point shot is no good, but Dawson with the putback. <laughs> Lever with it, 10 on the shot clock. Lever penetrating, up and in. Fancy move by Lever. And he is so made a freshman mistake there by letting Sutherland get behind him in that back door cut. Brandon Wood with the three-point shot. And that's one thing. It did not reset. Looks like the official said it should have. So 31 seconds will go on the shot clock. As Ferris State will inbound it now. Molden lobs up to Sutherland and he jams it in. That was a great job by Sutherland. 36-27. Applin bringing it up. Wide open was the lane and he took advantage as the Izone tries to rattle him here. And nothing doing on that, falls through. 10 seconds left now for the Bulldogs, Molden handling the point. Chance to see what they'll do in pressure situations like this. Sanders with it, five now, guarded by Green. Sanders, long three-point shot, no good, and that'll do it for the first half. So at the break, Michigan State with a 42-29 advantage, but Ferris State holding on there a little bit in the first half. They really were. And that game really didn't get that spread out until late, late in the second, in the in the first half, I should say. 
Ferris State really played Michigan State tough, and it was back and forth for a while. But Michigan State able to extend that lead to halftime to make that pass. And great job by Derek Nix, handled that ball really well and was able to get the score. Molden will take the three, actually inside the arc a little bit. So that one. Dunk there by Sanders. That was a great drive, Michigan. Take another look there at that dunk here by Sanders. Not hiding very well. It is Halloween weekend, but did you see the images from the Penn State Illinois football game yesterday? All the snow on the ground. Couldn't even see the field before the game. Oh, we don't have any of that snow here in East Lansing, but I'm sure it's on the way. Eight inches of snow down there, something you usually don't see on Halloween <laughs> weekend, really anywhere in the country, especially in Pennsylvania. As Ferris State going to control it, long three-point jumper. From Green thinks about it. Trying to go down low to Knicks. A little hesitant on the pass, so it was stolen away by Sanders. Molden down low. Spin move from Sutherland up and in. You don't always have to dunk. Sometimes it's just easier and better to just lay it back up and in. But Payne there on the dunk. When you got an open area like that, you can clean it up like that anytime. And especially the score, Michigan State on top. I tell you, I say one thing, the next thing happens. Payne with the cleanup on the dunk. Boylan at the line from Grayling, Michigan. One of the seniors on this team. First shot falls as Molden comes back into the game for Ferris. Yes, you are right. He needs to calm down a little bit. Look for a shot, and here he probably will. Let's see if he can nail this one, and he does. Just slides left for Ferris now. Lever handling it. Over to Lehman. Ten seconds now. Lehman baseline jumper rattles through. Six and a half left for the Spartans. They'll obviously take this one. Barring any last second shot. Well, there's one from Kearney. Doesn't fall. And that'll do it. So 85-58 the score here. Michigan State takes the exhibition game over. Ferris saw a lot of saw a lot of good production from the freshman. A lot of good production from Brandon Wood. So Izzo got to be happy in this one, but a lot of things that he can clean up before they face North Carolina. Yes, Izzo never really happy with everything that he sees his team do, but they did have a very balanced offensive attack, which is good for them that they can count on different players to score from just about anywhere on the court. They had a good win here today, and they did really improve upon a lot of things to get ready for a tough regular season schedule. And obviously when you're starting a freshman, there's gonna be this learning curve for them. There's gonna be this time where they have to fix a lot of those freshman mistakes. And we saw that with Dawson. He was a really perfect example of that. Started the game very well and, and really very explosive, but made a couple of those mistakes, some of those errant turnovers, and some of those bad passes a little later in the game.